here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some gorgeous bookmarks and we're gonna use supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where they have these great spray bottles where I make my homemade spray inks. They have spools O'Toole and these beautiful shipping tags that we are going to use today. And uh, you can use whatever stamps you have to make these. I'm gonna share some tips and tricks with you to make them look great and uh, let's just get right to it. So first we're gonna start with a large shipping tag. This is the three by six inch and poke the little uh, little circle out and you'll notice one side has a laminated strip and the other side is plain so you want to work on the plain side and the first thing we're going to do is take a shadow stamp and that could be any stamp that's just like a plain shape like a circle or a square you could even use a bath block like a kids bath block or um, any sort of foam building block or even cut your own uh, stamps out of fun foam or use an eraser or anything that's just rubbery and a geometric shape so I'm going to ink this up with a really light color of ink. Use your favorite light color. This is a background, so we want it to be light and kind of, um, it's just kind of there to build a little interest and to anchor our other designs. So I'm going to stamp this twice. There we go. Set that aside. And now we want our next layer, and we're going to do a technique called rock and roll, which sounds fun, doesn't it? So I'm going to ink this up in teal, and this is a cute dragonfly with some calligraphy. And then um, you want to pick up your stamp pad for the for this the second stamp pad, and you're just you just want to kind of rock the stamp pad along the edges of the stamp, and that's just going to get a little bit of a, like a two toned effect. Now, if you get any um, any ink off on the block itself, you might want to wipe it off. It helps if you use a stamp block that's about the same size as your stamp. And I'm going to stamp him right about here, so he overlaps both of the squares. Okay, and now I want to add some more interest, so what I'm going to do is grab this calligraphy stamp. Now a lot of times you'll get stamps that are packaged together in um, like with stamps that kind of coordinate. That's really a great, a great thing for trying out this sort of, um, this sort of technique. Shadow stamps usually kind of either come in a package of just shadow stamps or, you know, use bath blocks. They're in the dollar spot at Target. They're certainly um, affordable to do it that way. All right, so I think that's all the calligraphy I want. Um, I think I want to put in these uh, little butterflies, kind of like a little stylized Asian desi designed um, butterflies. I want to have them overlap my elements here. And that helps tie everything together. Don't worry about any smudges either because, first of all, it's just a tag. That's what I love about stamping on tags because it's not a scrapbook page. It's um, it's not even a card. If it doesn't turn out, it's just a tag. You get 500 or 1,000 of them in a box, depending on how uh, how big of a box you buy. They're inexpensive at Paper Mart. They're a little pricey at the office supply store, and they're super pricey at the rubber stamp store. So make sure you buy it at Paper Mart. And if it's too many tags for you, well, call a friend and share the wealth. All right, so I just love this the way it is. But to add a little extra something something, we're going to use a stencil. And uh, this is a really cute one I just got. It's a Heidi Swap stencil and um, it's butterflies. I just think it would be really cute on this. So I'm just going to layer it like that. I'm just, I like to move it around a little bit too and decide exactly how, maybe I'll have it like that so I don't obscure my dragonfly. And I'm going to, I'm going to test it out there. I want to put something across the top just to protect the top of the tag. I'll set that right there. That can be my, that, that was a scrap, so that can be my mask. And I think I'm actually going to go with this, um, this die that I made. It's uh, red and these bottles are available at Paper Mart in a uh, nice large assortment so you can make all the ink you want. And I'm spraying, I'm, I'm spraying at about a foot and a half distance. Okay, I just want a very light coating there. And if I wanted to tint it a little bit, if I wanted it slightly another color, I can use another color ink. I make, I have a video on making these inks. I'll put a link down below in the video description if you want to check that out. Um, so I like to make a variety of inks to have on hand at all times. And now if I want to speed the drying off up on that, I can simply just um, blot it with a paper towel. Or I could hit it with a heat gun. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And there you have it. The next thing I need to do, just to finish this tag off, will be to add a little ribbon, or in my case, I want to use some tools. So I think I will use this purple tool. This is from Paper Mart. They have some gorgeous colors and the best price, and it's really high quality. I've used some cheaper tool, like the kind you find at the craft store or the dollar store, and it's just not very good. This is very uniform, a lot stronger than the uh, than the 
tool that you buy elsewhere and you get more on a roll. So I will put a link below to the tool, into the um, bottles, and to the packaging tag so that you can find all the stuff that I used and get it for yourself too. Now, if you want, I feel like that's a little unruly, so I'm just going to bundle it, bunch it all together, give it a little trim, and Bob's your uncle. We have a finished bookmark, backpack tag, whatever you want to use it for is fine with me. I want you to check out our sponsor. Tell them Lindsay sent you. Thank them for their support of uh, these lovely tutorials. You can find them online at www.papermark.com com where we make you look even better. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.